<laughs> man, it's awesome. Oh, Look at man. the gut on that thing. Heck yeah. <laughs> wow. Yes! <laughs> What did you see, Teresa? Uh, he winched a redfish out of the ditch and across the road. He just winched it up and across the road. Look, it's a ditch like that. He just, he just, he just flipped it up out of the ditch into the road. Good to be home. Can't yeah. wait to get out in this. See some of our people. We made it, folks. What you doing, Fergie Ferg? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys made it. <laughs> yeah, finally. That's a lot of fun. I know. <laughs> we already caught all the fish, man. So. Oh, better yeah, well. go home. <laughs> Five <laughs> sheephead. Y'all yeah. enjoy. Um, that slot oh, red. A couple one? trout. We found a hole with a bunch of 11 inch trout. So. There's one like yeah, and then another one yeah. yeah. I caught the whole slot. It? Tony C. Tony Saturday, boy. Teresa's chicken stew, man. Can't beat it. After a long drive, Teresa, this stuff is good, boy. Yum. Found me two palm trees to hang my hammock. I got some chicken stew. Getting revitalized. This is going to be time to hit the water, folks. Camp's all set up. Nathan and them are set up right there next to my pickup truck. Just five days of nothing but fishing, boy. What are you doing? Enjoying the warmth of my little cabin. Cabin? My tent cabin. Your heater buddy's got you. You're gonna catch your feet on fire. Nah. We got here this afternoon, didn't have the energy to fish. Um, we gotta we gotta do a little prep for tomorrow morning. Gotta get the kayaks off the roof. Doing it tomorrow. Tent set up, got a heater buddy, got a heating pad. That's my best friend. Got electricity. We could have brought just a space heater. Nah. You can tell we live in Florida because it's it won't it's it's gonna stay in the 60s at night and we're complaining. <laughs> Look, we're all wrapped up. Well, it's the first morning. I'm pumped. Trisha, you pumped? Of course. You are? Yeah, I'm catching fish today. It's fish catching time. We, we. There's fish blowing up on the dang bank. <laughs> Knock a trip out the water? Yeah, there was one, yeah. Y'all gonna be fishing out here for a while, huh? Oh, yeah. Probably until about three, two, three. All so right. If you guys decide to come in a little early, we'll probably come in. This is a guy that's. Taught me, taught me a lot about fly fishing before Gavin was born, 20 years ago, man. <laughs> Ron Begno. Hey, what's going on, man? <laughs> How you doing? Pretty good. Yeah. You ready to hit him? Oh, yeah. You going by yourself this morning? Yeah. I saw that big drum you got yesterday. Yeah. Still got the old J16. How many? You had that thing 20 years or what? All right, but we'll catch you later. Ron Begno taught me a ton about fly fishing back in the day. Lake Charles, man. Lake Charles. He's in Lafayette now. Yeah. Nathan, just stop and get shrimp. Cheater. <laughs> Cheater. I'm deduct. I'm deducting two points. All right. I want to do some sight casting today. Welcome to Grand now. We're in Leeville now. A lot of current in this bayou right here. A lot of current, but we got water. Water's a challenge in this marsh right now. It's all, all the water's out.
Yeah. There you go, boy. Oh, yeah, people. Got our first Leeville Redfish Grand Isle trip. Patreon camp out. Oh, hell yeah. It's a nice fish. Oh, he's big. He's big. It's a good size red, y'all. Heck yeah. Come on now. Come on now. Watch out, baby. Watch out, watch out. I can't control him quite yet. It's a small bull. About 27 or so. Man, it's awesome. Yeah. At spinnerbait, I was able to slow the presentation down. Yeah. Suckers work, boy. Redfish magic. Redfish magic with a little bit of procure. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is a stout rod, and I can't even whip him yet. Got the custom speed stick plus loose. This thing's got some backbone, man. This is my bull red rod, and I can't even lick this guy yet. Come on, bring him up. What you doing? Playing around. Look at Teresa with her. Woo! Yes, sir. That's the way you start a trip. Nice fish. Oh, man, he's big. Nathan's all blowing me up. Nathan's got two already, y'all. Yeah, he's got two about this size. Probably got three now. Still, he's still banging me. Ugh, look at that, guys. Oh. Yeah, about what? 26, 7? Oh, man. I don't even. Uh, this is by uh, Strike King. Redfish Magic Spinner Bait. Nice slow presentation in this colder water. That's a pretty fish. Yeah, it is. Let's see what he goes. Well, the redfish are here. Man, look at the <laughs> belly on this thing, bro. He is fat. Yeah. I don't know. He's, he's fat. Oh, that's beautiful. Gorgeous. GoPro, stop. Huh? GoPro, stop. All right, so this is what I got him on. It's Redfish Magic, great spinner bait. This is a Louisiana slaying machine for this dirty, marshy water. It, uh, it goes really slow, especially in these cooler conditions. And it moves a lot of water, a lot of flash in this dirty water. It's just epic for these parts, designed specifically for these parts, man. Beautiful. Let's do it again. Oh yeah, hooked up. Yes, nice. Redfish, you don't know he's hooked yet. Got my mirage out, got my rudder up, and I'm just scanning and just push pulling through this marsh. There's some deeper ditches that cut through, and uh, just watching for bait. Stuff popping bait on the bank lines, and just stick off. Nice! <laughs> right at the boat! Wow, <laughs> he made a mess right here at the boat. Oh boy, oh yeah. He's a beauty, he's a beauty. Oh, he's thrashing. <laughs> oh, love it, 
love it. Oh, beautiful fish. Mm -hmm. He hammered that soft plastic. Oh, he's a beauty. What a beauty. That's a nice fish. Need any pliers? Good night. That's a big fish. <laughs> Woohoo! Love it. You did? That's the only trout I've heard of today. Nice. That's a good looking stringer, boy. Not a bad morning. Not a bad morning. Now, you said you were sight casting those, right? Oh, you we seen were seeing them swirl and then we threw it in front of them. They popping on the uh, bank line, the marsh line, grass line? It was a real thin corridor, about four feet wide, and they were just tearing up bait in there. So it was like a ditch that was narrow. Mm -hmm. How deep was it? Three, four foot? About three, four foot. We I lost another sheep's head at the boat, and then. Uh, we have one undersized red fish. Sounds like the key's three or four feet. I caught him in three or four feet with spinnerbait. Yeah. What you got here, bud? Oh, Look man. at the gut on that thing. Nice, healthy 18-inch trout. <laughs> what did he hit? Uh, caught it on a gulp. Really? Yeah. Nice. Uh, about an eight-foot deep channel, four feet wide. Really? Cast from me to Nathan. <laughs> Dang. No room. No caught. room. Caught about, uh, caught about eight runt reds. You don't think these things are well fed. Look at the stomach on that. <laughs> the theme that I'm hearing, I got my 25 in uh, about four feet of water or on the edge of a four foot drop. The theme I think is three, four, five, six foot of, foot of water, just a little bit deeper. So we'll stay with that and just keep working it. Let's see what, what she's done. I didn't do nothing. Why don't you show them what you did? Show them your stringer. I didn't do nothing. Show them your stringer. Yeah. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't give you them turbo fins. I didn't do nothing. I'm telling you. Let me see the stringer. Yeah, you didn't do nothing. <coughs> Dang, that is like a 27. I need to measure him again. Dog, man. <laughs> You need to stop it. I didn't do I nothing. I knew we shouldn't have gave her them turbos this morning. <laughs> she's smoking us, huh? She's no. back here in this little ditch and she's hooked up. Woo wee! Oh, he's a biggie. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, good grief. Going under you. <laughs> Got me soaking wet. <laughs> Is it necessary to get me all wet? Get him, Tracy, get him. He won't fit in the net. Oh, he got in the net. I got him. Oh my god, I got him. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get him in the boat. Jeez, that's a that's a bull. Look at that! Look at that! He was popping shrimp. Man, they're fat. He got me soaking wet though. Twenty-eight. Oh, he's twenty-nine. No. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's all right. Plenty vital revitalized with all this cool water. All right. A little runt. Little runt. Fish on. Fish on. Right on the corner. Well, this is a good spot, man. I can smell it. it. Just smells like a good spot, people. Nathan's bench top baits moon beer. Hm. Here comes Fergie Ferg. Heading out, man. I had a blast this weekend. Epic trip. Yeah. Caught a lot of sheephead, redfish, and trout this weekend. Our first uh, patron camp out, man. That was fun. Love it.
we gotta do it more. We're doing it. Hey, we're already booked here for the Mother's Day weekend. Awesome, I'm gonna try. Yeah. I'm gonna try. <laughs> Alright folks, we're gonna pick it up here for a minute. And uh then we're gonna head back out and fish this area again. We're just gonna go grab a bite to eat, man. That's it. Just grab a bite. We brought our food, so here we go. Ran out of energy, Teresa. I think it ain't nothing a little uh, stew won't help. Yeah, I'm starving. I'm waiting for this to get done. I think we're just gonna stay here. We're gonna eat right here. And we're just gonna keep going and go find some new marks to hit when this turns over. These guys are sitting at the kayak launch, winching in reds and sheephead left and right. She just caught a nice sheephead. You can throw him back, Maria. Caught two runt reds and two sheepheads since we've been sitting right here between us and those rocks right there. I know, and I hooked it. That's the biggest one we have, huh? Out catching us at the boat launch. All right, this is like the sixth fish they've caught at the kayak launch. Just right here in this little cut, right here. That's a, that's a keeper drum. Where are you at, Nathan? Why aren't you winching them? You got a little piece of scrimp to put on there? It's all over with. We don't even have to go nowhere now. You come to Louisiana, you catch more fish at the boat launch than you will wandering around in a kayak. No, I got there it. you go. What'd you get on, fish bites or shrimp? Shrimp. Shrimp. She got it. Y'all always fish right here at this kayak launch? Ah, uh, this is one of my favorite spots. Yeah. <laughs> I've never We been always seem to do Chris good before. right here, so. <laughs> Look, current comes through. Yeah, along the rocks out there. They aren't out there today. They're on this one today. That's cool. It just depends. But you can catch trout out here. We've been caught a few man little mangrove snapper out here before. Really? All right, we'll see if Nathan and them can do the same. This is a good fish, bro. Yeah, pretty good. Oh, oh yeah. Um, Come on, man. This is this is nuts. Rowdy Rodney. No, you didn't. A little sheepy. <laughs> Why do we even bring kayaks? I don't know. <laughs> I thought that one was one. They had three on at one time. No. Get him, Nathan. You got me, Nathan. Here's dinner. Only 10 inch minimum, he said. That's keeper. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna join in on the fun. Well, that's a nice one, Rod. Oh boy, that's a big one. Ooh, Julio Chops. That's a big sheep there, boy. What? <laughs> he got one over there, too, look. No lemon on those, 10 inches. Ten. And another one. Uh oh. And another one. I'm gonna get one, folks. I'm gonna have to put a weight on those. We have took about 10 already. Oh, what? That just happened? Thanks, bud. Alright. So, the place okay. next door to the gas station? Or the big shop? Because everybody is down there. That's what I said. Oh, that's a nice fish, guys. There you go. Ooh. Ooh, that's a big one, guys. <laughs> Could he be more green, though? Oh, my gosh. Get him up there. Get him up. You're talking about green. I caught him behind your kayak, man. Did he get you? No. They got a big cooler, Nathan? Mm, at the camp. At the camp? <laughs> what are we supposed to do with all these fish, man? Yeah, get on them fish. Uh, we I got two coolers on the back of mine. Yeah. You about to leave, though. Yeah. You're going to take them all in New Orleans. <laughs> I'll see your game. Okay. Oh, my God. Slob. Ready? 
Where's your pickles? All right, here we go, folks. Round two, day one. Put a 15 reds and another about 40 pound black girl. Really? Slot reds? Uh, up to about 10 pounds. Nice, nice. We caught a bunch too. How far? How far back y'all went? I went. I went out. We just put in. Great way to start the second part of the day. Holy smokes, he's backing out. Beep, beep. Oh, you did not. Tight quarters, tight quarters. Good job, girl. Good job. Man, this is close quarters combat fishing. Wow. Well, that's a keeper. That's a keeper for sure. Job. Lunker snatcher. Whoa! Giving me a bath. Good dog. There you go. Good job. Got him. Oh, I love my net. I don't do not lose them anymore. Nice one. I swear all I needed was one bait this whole time. Look at that, look at that. That is what I've been using the whole day. Nathan made those. Look at that, root beer color. No way. How was that for a first day? Uh, my thumbs hurt. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Yeah. But we wow. tried to catch every fish in Louisiana the first day. Yeah, we always do that. Oh, man. I bet Nathan and them ain't even in yet. Mm hmm. They are? Mm hmm. So there goes day one. Day one in the books. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. Ooh, we're going to need a vacation from this vacation, baby. <laughs> What is the score? Woo! David got a red. All right. He did. 23. Nice. Right there. Right I got there. Scott. What'd you well, get? It took me all day, man. I worked hard for that red. Yeah, you did. 22. Taco time. <laughs> What'd y'all get? Three more reds. <laughs> we'll see you out at the camp. Good night, fish. We'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, Teresa. Day two, caught so many fish and paddled so far, we had to get a late start because we were just like dead. I don't even know what time it is. It's like 10, 10 to 10 a.m. Is it really? Yeah, yesterday we were up at five. Not today. Not today, man, Not late today. start, but uh, stopped and we got a, some breakfast at the starfish, man. I heard all the trucks start up and I was like, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they, I heard them slow down when they got by our, our tent mm -hmm. spot. So we're going to eat breakfast and we're going to go hit a place they call the snake hole. We'll open it up in here, boy. Let's hit the water. side of the road in Grand Isle. Uh, I got a spot back here they want to check out. I'm putting it on the side of the road in Grand Isle. Oh, Mind your own business, lady. When, when, I'm, when I want your attention, I'll look at you. Why don't you whine and tell them how I poked you in the chest? She got mad at me this morning and poked me in the chest. I had to massage my heart, share it my heart. Dude, let it sit still. Let it sit still. Double hookup. Sand trout. Yep. Me too. Tarpon bait. World's largest trout alert. Oh, what is this? What is this? Sand trout. Sand trout? Is 
this spot has been Dink City. But they're all tiny, man. This is about a 12 foot deep hole right here. 10 pound test braid, throw them with the wind, man. Throw forever. And we, we need to move. It's starting to rain, man. I gotta go walk down the street and get the truck here. Teresa's staying with the kayaks, just 100 yards maybe. And uh, we're gonna pick up the kayaks and take them across the street. There's another spot we wanna hit. There's some birds working. There's a spot we wanna hit. You see those mangroves? That looks like South Florida mangrove. Grand Isle actually has a lot of mangrove mixed in with uh, Spartina grass and Roso cane, a lot of salt grass. Pretty cool. All right, let's get the truck, put it in across the way, see what we can find. We're taking the kayaks off the side, bringing them across the road, using the truck like a dolly. That was a crazy launch. We made it happen. Now they say there's a good spot out here, so let's go see if we can find it. Where's my net? Oh, look at that angry fish. Angry, oh yeah. Isn't that pretty? Go on, buddy. Out of here. Nice trout. Look so pretty. Pretty little trout. Catching nice keeper trout. I don't have a ruler, so I don't know how big they are, but I know they're over 12. But I'm gonna set them loose. Every single cast. Oh. Dang. Got a trout hole here. Oh yeah. Found the trout. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Barely hooked. Todd paddled out. I stayed right here. Every single cast is a trout. Foul hook. Ah, started raining. Had to put on the frog toggy togs. Big specs love nasty weather, so here you go. I sure hope it was worth that paddle because there's a trowel hole right here where we launched. <laughs> Man, I'm out here in the middle of this bay by myself. Too many trout and it's raining. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> raining, let me clean that off. Where's it going? Oh my god. Woohoo! This one's the biggest. So far. Not bad. Not bad. Eat your heart out, Ty. When you're watching this, that's number 20. 20. 20. I didn't do no good way out there. Teresa's got some keeper trout, so let's go over here and steal her spot. This woman, this woman, I tell you what. Tearing the trout up. Oh, yeah, much nicer fish. Good job. Yeah, Teresa said, welcome to the party. Now I got the funk on it, so now I'm gonna be catching them. That's it, man. Once you get the once you get the stink on it, that's it. It's a little uh, rage swimmer, straight up three incher. Nathan and Rowdy were passing by to go back to the camp. They saw us catching fish right here, so they stopped. They're catching them on the side of the road. Look at that! Oh yeah! What? That's a nice one. Been too busy slaying fish. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> Welcome to the party. <laughs> Working on a nice stringer. Let's get some more. There we go. Get on. Get on. We need to stick off. We need to go ahead and stop. I don't know, I might be a keeper. I'd be a keeper, man. Spec wrecking. Yeah, that's my 
first keeper here. Perfect plastics. This is kind of little man-made islands right here. They're stacked up along here. Birds are working. See if we can whack them. Teresa's yeah. been killing them over here. This girl is something else. Oh, there we go. This is a nice thump. Here's a head shake up. <laughs> yes, sir. Nice fish. That's a KVD Perfect Plastic with a uh, Strike King jig head, 1 8 ounce. Tucker, if you're watching from the fish grip, I need some more of these clamps, man. Look, two. That's all I got. That's all I got, man. Very nice. Oh, yeah, he's all tangled up. Oh, it's bad. Oh, you just barely got it. I don't have it, but otherwise. Look at that. Rowdy caught the line that caught that. And it's hooked. I think it's hooked to the bottom. Line cutters to the rescue. Boom, done. It's bow hooked. We just put him on the stringer. <laughs> Y'all scoot down a little further this way. They're right in here, by where the island starts. He was taking off with it, man. I'm using the uh, loose TP1 speed stick, inshore in a medium. It's got a lot of give to it. Very supple rod for finesse trout fishing. And then of course the TP1 300. Uh, market is 10, so it's got it's got 10 pound test braid, so I can throw it very far, light jigs. <laughs> 17 pound mono leader, just so I got something to grab when I bring them in. They only got to be 12 inches in Louisiana, but I like to keep a little bit bigger ones just to get some meat on them. Off the side of the highway, man. Didn't get much closer to the highway than this. Come the cars now. Must be a lot of shrimp stacked up along the road here. This is a deep ditch they dug out to build the highway up. There we go. There's a nice fish. That ain't running like a trout though. Oh yeah. That's a bigger boy. There we go. I inhaled it. I inhaled it, people. Hailed it, folks. Running out of stringer, man. Nasty conditions. But the trout are still biting. So what am I chunking? KVD Perfect Plastics. Perfect. Uh, I forget the name of it. Something Shiner. And just to get the party started, I'm putting a little bit of shrimp procure. And they're like so. Once you catch one, you get the trout stink on it. That's it. You're gonna catch a bunch more till they tear it up. And that's that, folks. Ah. While Ty was out getting exercise, I was catching trout. Number 304. He's pulling pretty hard. I don't know. Throwing a fit. Nope. There's one. There's one. Got him. Yep, working the birds, man. How long has been you fish birds? It's been a long time since I fished birds, girl. Long time. Yep. Fishing on side the road. Grand Isle, Louisiana. Time to pick them up. Famished to make it back to camp, man. I'm gonna cook some turkey stew up right now. We got it cooked, just heat it up. Sweet. 
Patrice's good old turkey stew. Stuff's amazing. We put the hurt on them. I, don't, I see some fish busting right now. Trees on the point. I don't, I don't have the energy to load and clean fish and then cook. And so we're gonna go ahead and heat this stuff up and eat right now. <laughs> you sure are grumpy when you don't eat. What's going on, Teresa? You trying to get dressed in the tent? Oh man, look, it just collapsed. <laughs> what happened? It was standing one minute and now it's not standing. That's why I'm getting a camper. <laughs> the weather has changed. And uh, so we're, we're gonna tear down camp, fish, and then head out. Okay, we broke camp. We left, we leaving right now. Gone, gone. Weather turned icky. We're gonna, gonna go. fish all the way out though, right? Yeah, we might fish all the way home, huh? All the way home? Well, we'll see about here for a while with David and Tammy, and then if it ain't popping off, we'll go to the Wrigley's. <laughs> yeah, see all that rain? It rained all night long. I was like, it's dead for a weekend, Tyson. Not the weekend. Alright, how long did Lucky leave it? You got some fresh dead? It's live? It's live. How much is live? 30 cents a piece. 30 cents a piece? What? No frozen, nothing? Mm. God, no. A lot of beans are no go on the live. Let's go in this uh, little tackle shop slash cafe slash marina I got you now <laughs> wait go you get you a beer go yeah. get you a beer Chuck oh yeah you want me a beer? <laughs> to be in the film <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah just so you can video you yeah man Four. get you a beer <laughs> <laughs> There you go. That's five. All right, folks, we're back at the Leeville kayak launch. Teresa said, let's just fish off the bank at the launch, and she's already pulled out a flounder. That girl's more hardcore than I am, folks. Look, that rain that blew in while we were sleeping last night, that was obviously a front. While we were eating this morning, it was 60 degrees. I bet it's dropped into the high 40s now. She did catch a nice little flounder. She's still out there working it. <laughs> She's die hard, man. She'll be out there until I make her go. We still got to drive all the way back to Pensacola. I got to guide some folks uh, this weekend. Some hip campers, totally excited about that. You can see her back there behind those signs. Fishing the kayak launch, winching them out, man. <laughs> that is one fishing woman. Let's go get some coffee. It got cold. Relentless. What'd you call me? You just called me a wuss, man. I did. Come on, frog togs. Let's get it. You can't catch them all in one trip. You gotta come back. Yeah. We'll come back Mother's Day, we say. Yeah. 